Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where I've taken the liberty to get our mechs repaired and our pilots trained for the sake of time off camera. Nothing really special, we did go for Juggernaut on one of them and uh, we replaced the medium laser on the 4X one. Nothing too major, let's hop straight into the command center and let's see what's available here. I mean... <sighs> I would be tempted to run this just because it's a four skull mission. I think that would be a better mission for next episode, though, if it's available by then, which I kind of doubt it will be. But instead, we could do something. I mean, this is a Comstar affiliated mission. It'd be relatively simple, but I'm actually thinking this one and we go for pay. So that way we can tick forward enough to get our Marauder online before the final mission. So we can do something like this. This will basically pay for our entire month's financial report. So that'll be great. This is all good to go. This is no changes here whatsoever. And so let's go ahead and deploy. Yep, the Veagle has unused tonnage, but that's not shocking. This is a battle in the lowlands and let's see what we're up against. It's only two and a half skull, so I'm not expecting this to be tremendously difficult. I do think that we're probably going to go for the most difficult mission available on Terra next episode as our finale, and it might be a long one. We might all die. It'll be great. Who knows what'll happen? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be the last mission, right? So I kind of want to go out with a bang. Either we do something amazing and punch ridiculously far above our weight, or we all die in a blaze of glory. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> For now, of course, we need to destroy the enemy forces. Within the last three months, the planetary government has struck our facilities, personnel, and supply convoys over half a dozen times. My superiors and the Commonwealth leadership would like to even the score. We'd like to hire you to find a local government lance and destroy it to demonstrate we're not without military resources on Terra. Okay. Command so let's hop on in here. Do we have any reinforcements of our own? No, but Darius did say to keep an eye out for reinforcements. Judging by what we're seeing here, they're up on this ridge. Okay, so we're going to come on in over here, and we're just going to try to make our way up onto this cover as quick as we can. So... Where are they? Time to get dirty. There's one. Okay. I doubt we'll find much in the way of entertainment here. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Okay. Looks like enemy reinforcements. We knew there would probably be reinforcements. Those are up there. The enemy units are over here. I think we swing around and defeat this lance first. I'm going to reserve here. We'll let this guy move and see where he goes. He backs off. Okay. On that note, we are going to sprint up to here and see what we can see. We do see the Helios, and we're going to just light him up with the ER mediums, and maybe we hit. Okay, 32 damage. We'll take it. Our Veagle is going to sprint forward as much as possible. And what do we have next? Our Ghost? Sure. We'll move up to here. It's not a great movement, but it'll do. Okay, so their reinforcements have had multiple indirect firing weapons. So that's good to know. What do you need? The 4X1 is, I think, going to be reserved here. Reason being, we want to move it this direction, but it's completely blocked. Okay, what do we move next? Yep. The quick draw? The quick draw is definitely going to head up this way. All right, full speed. Excellent. Commander. And our blackjack is going to step up to here. Do we drop an arrow four on the Heliopolis? We don't have sensors on anything else. We'll give it a go. Okay, we got a couple of hits on there. Okay. I hate these guys. They've got an arrow four of their own up there. 
Oh we are absolutely going to need to get up there and deal with that. Okay. Yeah. So the 4X1 is going to head over to here. Confirmed. Yes, Commander. And the Hunchback 1G is going to head off over this direction. Copy that. That did give us eyes on this warrior, and I'm going to go ahead and fire the heavy rifle here. 51% chance. Ooh, and that's actually just a straight up one shot. I like it. Vehicle trashed. Okay. So one down. Aye, aye. The quick draw is going to position here. Position confirmed. And that gives us the sensors that we wanted. We see the missile artillery tank. We see the VTOL. We see a Wolfman over there. That's a Rifleman variant. Heliopolis and a Tiger II and a Helios. Gotcha. So this missile artillery tank needs to go. There's no doubt about that. Do we fire our rockets on 52%? I think we hold them. That was some solid armor damage to that Helios. The Wolfman moves up, goes for the Shadow Hawk. That is a pair of rotaries, I think. Reporting minimal damage. Which means that this guy can theoretically output a lot of damage. One of them is probably jammed. I don't think it's out of ammo. The ghost is going to head up over this way. Confirmed. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get to that missile artillery tank just yet. I'm here. The Shadowhawk 2C is actually capable of getting here. We're going to take this position and see how this is going to go. Now, we're not in cover, and I'm aware of this. And I don't really like this position a tremendous amount. But here's the idea. Kill that missile artillery tank. It's gotta go before it shreds too much of our armor. Perfect. One more for the rubbish bin. Okay, who moves next? It is the Helios. That is potentially dangerous for us. We'll see what it decides to do. They moved their Anubis first. Okay, it's got ECM. So we should probably take out that Anubis if we have reasonable hit odds on it. With the ECM, we may or may not. The Helios is going to position there and hit the Shadowhawk quite hard in that side arc. Okay. Once again, we, we weren't in cover there, so they're going to continue to hit that side arc. Actually, they miss. The danger point here is when the Rifleman moves. Good to go. Now, the Veagle is going to position, I think... Here. The Shadowhawk is in a substantial amount of danger this round, although the Wolfman already moved. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. We could fire the ATM in ER mode, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try to take out this VTOL. A couple of hits there, but nothing too major. So the Blackjack, nothing's too clumped up here. I think that the Blackjack is going to move to here. On my and way. we're going to try to get that Anubis unsteady here. The odds on this are pretty low. Don't get me wrong. Confirmed. Okay, some damage there and Later. a decent chunk of instability. We're going to move up with our Hunchy 1G. And we're going to fire on this Anubis again. The odds are still not great. And a lot of that's because of the ECM. Yeah. Pretty much as expected there. The 4X1 is going to position... We could actually get an LOS here. And that is on this guy. We'll pot shot the VTOL. I doubt we'll take it down, but maybe... Yeah, no kill there. The Gladiator is going to move up to here. This isn't the best location, but it's the only one with a possible chance of taking out this Anubis. Our hit odds are really low right now. I understand. And yeah, absolutely nothing. That's not shocking. That's a miss. Okay, phase 12. The Tiger 2 moves up, doesn't do anything. And... 
Phase 19 for the Wolfman, 17 for the Shadowhawk, and Quick Draw. So the Shadowhawk remains in substantial danger here. Standing by. We're going to have to move in with our Hunchy here. Our kick odds are reasonable, and I'm going to go for the side arc here, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to go for the front. Well, thinking. No, I think the Hunchy is safe to go for the side arc. I'm not going for the rear arc, though. Sad. We had a slightly better than even hit chance there, but we missed everything. And that, of course, means that the Hunchy is in cover, but with no evasive pips. The VTOL moves up, goes for the Shadowhawk. Oof. Commander, got a weapon out. Yeah, we're not shocked by this. We knew that that Shadowhawk was in a huge amount of danger. So we lost our rockets, but only one ER medium laser. And actually, how many rockets were actually in that? We did lose a clan double heatsink. That hurts. Two rocket packs. That's okay. We can try to disengage the Shadowhawk 2C. Overall, that's not too bad so far. It may get worse. We're going to shoot down this VTOL for sure. You got there we go. Excellent. Phase 17, who do they move? Neither of these. This Helios is, is actually, we got reserved back to phase 12. Okay, so that's fine-ish. The Anubis is giving us a charge here, and it missed. Okay, that's huge. That's extremely problematic for the Anubis. Damage. Not problematic in the slightest Minimal for us. Minimal. So at this point, the quick draw absolutely has to move in up here. There's no way around it. We have to move in here, and we have to hit this Helios as hard as we can right now. That was a lot of damage, but not the damage that we needed, unfortunately. The Ghost is going to move in and deal with the Anubis. This should absolutely be a kill on the Anubis. That is an unsteady Anubis. And there we go. Okay. Next. Our Blackjack is going to sprint up to here. And we're going to fire the arrow four in indirect mode. I would love to fire it at this Helios, but I think it's too dangerous. So we're going to fire it at this Helios instead and strip fire. off a little armor. Okay. Here's the danger point. Let's see what this guy does. Moves up to the quick draw. Wait, what happened? I think he attempted to melee and missed. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. He should have meleeed the Shadowhawk 2C, but okay, we'll accept it. So I'm going to sprint this Hunji up to here for clear LOS, and let's see what our hit odds are like. Oh, that's fine. We take these. And we managed to stray shot our quick draw several times there. Nice. Perfect. Got past the armor. <laughs> My armor's melting off. Tiger 2 moves up, goes for the Hunchy, takes out the claws, that's fine. Critical hit. I mean, we're not shocked by that. When we missed this kick, we knew that this Hunchy was going to take a lot of side arc damage. I'm receiving you. So the Shadowhawk is going to move in behind the Helios here, and we're going to go for the rear arc kick. Solid. Way less solid. No hits from the lasers. Negative damage. Oof. Repeat. Negative. Yes, Commander. Okay, the Gladiator is also going to move up to here for now. And we're gonna fire this. Have no doubt it will be done. No, I had doubt. It was it was not done. I have it doubt. <laughs> okay. So here. we're going to move up with the ghost here. We're probably going to try to disengage the hunchy here, but we're going to move the ghost over here. 
And fire on the Helios. Confirm. That's a leg destruction. Okay. We'll take it. And where was that internal structure at on this quick draw? Okay. That arm is not a great place to have it, in all honesty. But the Shadowhawk here is definitely going to come in here and... Okay. Yeah, we're going to melee here. There we go. Fantastic. Are we going to fire those lasers? There we go. That took a little while. <laughs> Okay, so this guy is going to move now, the Wolfman. He's going to do the same thing. And he also missed his charge. Ah, that was not a charge. That was just a melee. That's fine. I'm under heavy fire here. That's completely fine. You. So the Hunchy, I would like to disengage. I'm going to Vigilance it so that we are able to sprint. And then we're going to disengage the Hunchback back to over here. Going full throttle. Okay. There we go. Next up, our quick draw is going to walk in behind this wolfman into rear arc. And we're going to hit this guy as hard as we can. That's a melee attack. Oh, that's actually a kill. I didn't expect a kill there. Mech destroyed. Sure. We'll take it. The Veagle needs to sink heat. We're going to move it over and do that. As far as who's going to be frontlining this, I think we're going to immediately drop an Infernal Arrow 4 over here on this Tiger 2. Decent damage there. Started a few fires. The 4X1 is going to sprint up. And I think we may have the Gladiator frontline this. The Helios moves in. Yeah, we're not shocked by that. And our gladiator is going to step forward to here. I don't care for this position a huge amount. And we can only fire the one heavy PPC, but the hit odds are kind of low anyway. So we'll do that and sink heat. Okay. Failed to connect. The main battle tank moves up. Also goes for the blackjack, I'm assuming. Foot destruction through armor. Okay. Well, that's not a big deal. Critical hit, critical hit. Oh, you're fine. Waiting for so the Hunchy is, I think, going I to be me. continually disengaged for right now. Order. The Veagle is going to sprint up over this way. I was hoping that we could get an LOS, but alas, Double we cannot. So we'll move to there. The ghost is going to sprint up to here and sink a little bit of heat. In fact, all of the heat it's got. This is going to be the Helios moving again, and this is going to really start to hurt the Blackjack. Okay. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Indeed you are. The quick draw is going to make its way around over this way. Roger. Next round, we're really going to bring our weapons to bear on these guys. The Blackjack is going to step back here. Like so. And we're going to drop another Infernal Arrow 4 on the main battle tank. Solid hit there. That's a structure exposure, actually. That's a big, big deal. I'm receiving you. The Shadowhawk is going to hang out with the Hunchback. It's really not worth exposing that to additional fire. What's the, plan? the Gladiator moves up to, actually, due to minimum range here, and Vigilances. And we can go for either of these. We're going to go for the main battle tank. And hopefully, we're going to get something in on that side arc. We did not. The main battle tank falls back through the fire. That's fine. The 4X1 is going to position here. And put some fire onto that Helios. Sadly, we missed the Gauss rifle. Let's make it happen. He moves first, the Helios. Going for the Gladiator. Well, that was really unlucky that it actually got a structure exposure on the Blackjack there. <laughs> because that was a stray shot. 
but we're doing okay on that front. So the 1G is going to chill where it's at. Bracing for impact. The quick draw is going to move in to here. We want to protect the right side, though. So we want to do something like this. Understood. Light him up. Okay, I'm on it. That was a lot of damage to that Helios. Commander. The Veagle is going to move forward to this position. Or... This position, actually. All on air. Do we want to fire this in HE? Uh, this is okay. Light him up. That is a leg destruction. That Helios will never move again. Perfect. Yep. Our 4X1 is going to sprint up to here. And Look yes, out. it's not in ideal range, but that's fine. We are just going to go for this torso, I guess. There we go. Pilot is bleeding out. <laughs> Shadowhawk is just going to continue chilling where it's at. Right, Our Blackjack it. is going to drop another Infernal Arrow 4 on this Tiger, and we're hoping to get something into Not that fast. exposed area. And we did. That's a destruction. Perfect. Reporting. One left vehicle. Okay, by. the Ghost is going to move up and finish off the Helios. There's no way it survives this. Right. And there we go. Down. So we took a little bit of damage, but ultimately, it's nothing that Mission isn't fairly successful. easily repairable. So that's great. And that should get us enough money to tick the, the time forward to get our Marauder online. It's not the greatest Marauder loadout, but I wanted to use it for our final Blaze of Glory mission nonetheless. So they're insisting on the Helios and Wolfman parts, and honestly, that's okay. We're not going to be able to put those together anyway. So we'll accept that, and we will salvage the Arrow 4, I think, and we'll call that good. Endoskill structure, we don't have one of those. That would be nice to have. And some standard heat sink cooling that we can sell. Sure. Okay. So the question now becomes, of course, how long is it going to take to repair this? And honestly, I don't think it'll be too bad. I think it'll be pretty quick to repair. Hopefully, anyway. <laughs> that said, we need to tick forward to this month tick anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. So, let's just go ahead and do that, as soon as Yang gets around to telling us how much it's going to cost. 226k. Okay, that's a little painful. But go ahead and do that, and we'll tick forward here and get our repairs done. I do want to prioritize the Marauder. Everything else can go in just kind of random order. Okay. So we're just going to tick forward here, take this financial report. Are we going to throw a garden party? You know what? We'll throw a garden party. Why not? Excellent. And we'll take this financial report, get buzz back, and get all of our mechs ready to go. Now, I've only got 800k here. I don't necessarily care, though, because next mission is our last no matter what happens. So that's okay. We'll get our Marauder here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do our training for right now. Yeah. Point of gunnery for buzz. Training complete. Order. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah, actually, we can definitely grab Warlord for overhead. That'll be great. For Sarge, we can grab a point of tactics and get those sweet, sweet sensor rolls. Spigot, you can grab a point of gunnery as well as piloting. And Wildfire, you are good to go. Okay, so let's hop into the mech bay here and get these last couple of repairs done. Welcome to the Grease Pit. So, of course, we have three mechs that need to re be repaired. The Blackjack. This shouldn't be too much. Just a foot repair, I think. Pretty much. Yep. Literally zero cost and zero days. Fantastic. The Hunchback is going to be slightly more extensive, but not much. 
We're going to lose the claws, which means that we have 1.5 tons to work with. What do we want to do with that? What indeed? We could move the heat sink out of the head and maybe put an AMS in there? And then have a ton of AMS ammo somewhere? Like, down over in this leg? I guess that'll work. Excellent. So we'll get that underway. That'll take one day and cost 1,663 sea bills. I thought I clicked the confirm button, right. but apparently I didn't. The and the Shadowhawk 2C. That's going to require a little bit as well. Not much, in all honesty. We did lose everything over here. That's a little painful on the double heat sink, but honestly, we could just put in... I mean, we can have the clean ER medium laser and see how that is on heat efficiency. It's not the best, but honestly, that's probably okay. Our heat sinking is 78 heat, and we're going to have... Let's see, we've got... Three clan ER medium lasers? Four. Four clan ER medium lasers. That's going to be a grand total of 120 heat generation. Okay, so we can just back off on two of those periodically, I suppose, or something along those lines. I mean, I don't think we have a clan double heat sink. Yeah, we don't. So that definitely hurts. But we do also have some space to put rockets back in here. I'm going to put a rocket 15. And I'm going to put a second Rocket 15. Like that. Now we have a ton to work with. We'll max out our armor. That didn't max out the armor. Okay. <laughs> we'll max it out the old-fashioned way. We have over half a ton here still. I really wish that we could put in another double heatsink. Oh, you know what we might be able to do with this? We might be able to put in the engine heatsink plus one. Does that work? Yes, that does work. And with that, of course, we would want to back off slightly on this armor. About like that. That will do the trick. That brings up our heat efficiency, our heat sinking rather, to 84 heat. That's much, much better. We're only going to be building six heat per turn. Or no, we're going to be building 36 heat per turn. <laughs> but regardless, we can back off one medium laser, and we're going to be only building six. And then we can back off the second medium laser, and then we'll be sinking a lot. So that should, in theory, be okay. We'll validate that. That's going to take two days and 28,000 sea bells. Sounds good to me. Let's check forward the two days that that will take. And next episode, we are ready for our finale. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.